Jazz hands. No. Why not? You always say you'll be the crocodile, but you never commit. No offense either. Darn it! Steven needs to see his father and his friends. No, I don't. I can't keep clinging to the vestiges of my humanity. It's time I got serious. Steven, why is your communication device playing that song? It's Connie trying to call me, but I can't face her anymore. So you're just going to ignore her forever? It's the responsible thing to do. It's going to be hard because she's coming up the steps right now. What? Oh, hello, Connie. Is Steven home? No. <laughs> Is he okay? I'm just really worried. He hasn't been answering his phone. What's going on? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't understand your human relationships. So, um, goodbye. <laughs> Steven! <laughs> anymore? Steven? I can't be with you anymore. I have a destiny. Say it to my face! Say you don't want to be friends anymore! If you can do that, if you can do that, I'll leave you alone. And I'll just go back to having no friends. But I won't believe it until you say it to my face. worry about it. I've been worried sick all day. What do you think I'm doing here? I just wanted to protect you. Stop. Just tell me everything. <laughs> so, Lapis and Jasper are somewhere underwater. Yeah, and Peridot escaped while the ship was coming down. She could be anywhere. That is a lot to take in. Are you okay? Are you okay? You're the one that's been through everything. The least I could do is just listen. I can't ask you to do that. I want to, Steven. I want to be a part of your universe. Kiddo! There you are. Oh, hey, Connie. Do you need a ride home? Oh, Dad. Are you doing okay? I got it out of my system. I'm back to being your cool dad. I really shouldn't be playing with this. I have to take this back to the temple immediately. No way! You just got it working! Come on, aren't you your own mom? You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you gotta do some donuts in that thing. At least a dozen. Baker's dozen. Seriously, Steven, you've been under a lot of pressure. Don't you think you deserve to have a little fun? <laughs> 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 you really got the hang of that thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, it always hooks to the left. Whoa! I should really get it back to the gems, though. No! no. Right after I jump that haystack! Yeah! yeah. Do, do it! it. Mess it up, Steven. Steven. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm okay! 
<laughs> it's not actually so bad if you just give it a little... <gasps> ah! Steven? Guys? Oh. Ah! Probably weak from the landing. Don't hold back. Got it. No! Whoa! You got a lot of nerve taking refuge here, of all places. Garden? But I don't know where you get off attacking defenseless humans in your deadbeat escape pod. Garden! It's me, Steven! Can you hear me? Garden! And if you think you're safe here, well, I got news for you. You lost. Now! Guard it, guard it, guard it! Stay off my planet! Stop! Steven's in there. Uh, Steven! What were you doing? You found Peridot's escape pod and you didn't come get us immediately? Dude, we almost wrecked you. Steven. This is unacceptable. I'm very disappointed in you. You're right. Hey, cut him some slack. It's not his fault. Just let him be a DJ! What? We just wanted Steven to have some fun. I don't know what's going on with aliens trying to abduct him and him being his own mom, but it sounds like he's got a lot on his mind. I'm sure whatever you're having him do is important, but everyone needs a break once in a while. He's just a kid. Oh, maybe we have been a little hard on him. He did just break us out of space jail. Steven, you're ungrounded from TV. I'm invincible! Perfect. Mission accomplished. Garnet! Where art thou, my sweet scorching sunbeam? Oh, no! Garnet! I read thine letter and I understand. Thou hast returneth mine heart! What? No, that's not what- Garnet, you like my hair just as I adore yours. Come to me, Garnet. Jamie! Ah, young master Stephen, pray thee, where is Lady Garnet? She... she's not... She's not coming. But I've come to proclaim my love for my woman. No, Jamie, you don't understand. I... <gasps> Garnet, ha, you've come. You can tell Stephen about all the beautiful things you wrote to me in your missive. I didn't write that. But it's all right here, stained with tears of joy, and now also rain. Mm -hmm. Connie and I wrote that letter, Jamie. What? I'm so sorry, Jamie. We just wanted to let you down easy. Wilt thou not scorch me, my darling son? I am not, nor will I ever be interested. Go away. <gasps> my my ass. <laughs> Jamie! Oh, boy. I feel so bad for poor Jamie. Yeah, but I'm sure he'll bounce back from this in no time. He's probably gonna show up with the mail any moment now. Yeah. Excuse me, kids. I'm looking for the home of Steven Universe. I'm the home of Steven Universe. Hey, you're Greg's boy. I thought Jamie was pulling my leg when he told me you were living over here. Wait, where is Jamie? Oh, that poor kid's emotions have been destroyed. What? Yeah, he's a mess. Said he couldn't bear to deliver mail on this route again after having his love spurned. He said it just like this, like, 
Like when he's in the drama zone? Then he clenched his fist and closed his eyes like this. Full of drama to the end. Anyway, here's a book of coupons. Have a good one! You look sad. We really messed up this time. Because of us, Jamie's feeling lower than ever. We've shattered the man. We'll never love again. I'll go talk to him. But your words will destroy him. Can't you just, like, zap his brain so he forgets any of this ever happened? <sighs> Jamie. Garnet. I didn't mean to upset you. Then will you go out with me? No. But I've loved you since the moment I saw you. Love at first sight doesn't exist. Love takes time and love takes work. At the very least, you have to know the other person. And you literally have no idea who or what I am. But I bloom for you, like, like a camellia under moonlight. No, you don't. You make a very convincing lovesick fool. You convince these children. You even convinced yourself. You're a fantastic actor. What am I supposed to do now? Start with local theater. <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah, that was some pretty solid advice. Were those more letters you wrote to Garnet? No, that was the mail I was supposed to deliver on my last route. We'll help you pick it all up. Thanks. <laughs> Don't encourage her. But I need encouragement, Garnet. I need everyone's constant approval. I need to loquaciously converse so I can show off how smart I am. You can converse with me. Let's finish that quiz. Do you need to plan ahead before you act? Oh, thoroughly. Do you obsess over little details? Completely, entirely. Wow, you're so method. Next time, can you come back as me? This is not a good choice for your form. Lighten up, Garnet. Can't you take a joke? It's not funny. You've made yourself ridiculous. Ridiculous! Keep your voice down, the creature. <sighs> you wanted me to be more like Pearl, and now I am! Pearl would have taken her regeneration seriously. What do you care? My form is my business! It's my business when it affects the strength of the team. So what? I'm not strong enough? What uh, are you saying? I'm weak! Is it weird I'm getting numb to this? Okay, you know, I wasn't feeling this at first, but I think I might be coming around. <laughs> Yo, Steeman, must seem straight. Does that new form hurt you? No. Hey, Garnet, how'd you like to mix it up with this? <laughs> Just a little salt my through together, you know. This form isn't sustainable, Amethyst. But you're the one who said I needed to be stronger! Okay, if it's my monster, then I'll deal with it! <laughs> Amethyst! Stay behind me! Amethyst! Stronger. I'm doing it. I'm being what you want. I don't want this. Uh, huh? What do you want? Just tell me and I'll do that. I can't tell you, Amethyst. You have to figure this out for yourself. Uh, she can't. She doesn't want to think about herself. What? <gasps> Good catch. I knew that thing was real. When Amethyst gets back, we have to go find it. How long has it been? Four hours. Four hours? 
She's never taken so long. What is she doing in there? I'm not sure. I was too hard on her. Oh, oh, she's coming back! All right, everyone be supportive. Uh, what? Oh, you barely changed. Steven! It's perfect. Eh, whatever. It's just what feels right. That's why it's perfect. It is a marked improvement. You finally fixed that shoulder strap that's always bugged me. Welcome back. Well done, Amethyst. Knock it off. <gasps> we gotta go find the slinker. No, it's hug time. Oh, this is so dumb. Pearl took pride in risking her destruction <gasps> for her mother. She put rose quartz over <gasps> everything. Over logic, <gasps> over consequence, over her <gasps> own life. <laughs> you okay, dude? I have to do something! Thanks for telling me that, bye! Remember, Connie, in the heat of battle, Steven is what matters. You don't matter. I don't matter. Huh? Now, let us begin! Connie! Connie, where are you? Connie! <laughs> You wouldn't have happened to see Connie, would you? Unregistered combatant detected! <gasps> Connie! Steven? What are you doing out here? Connie, I don't want you to do this anymore. Not alone. No, Steven. I understand now. Your legacy, your destiny, you are everything. And I, I am nothing. But I can do this for you. I can give you my service. No, I don't want you to. Steven, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> yeah! I need to be able to protect you. But if you're the one protecting me, then who's the one protecting you? Someday soon, we may be fighting some really bad guys. And when that day comes, I want to fight with you, together. So please, won't you share this jam with me? This is much easier. That's the idea. No matter what comes, we do this together. Steven! Steven, don't interfere. She needs to take me on herself. Why? We're a team. She's the strawberry. And he's the biscuit. And that makes us... Jam buds. What? No! In a real battle, Stephen won't be there to save you. Yes, I will. Steven, you don't know that. Yes, I do. If Connie is going to fight, we're going to fight together. That's right. You shouldn't be anywhere near the fight. You're too important. I am not. Yes, you are. No. Why won't you just let me do this for you, Rose? I, I mean, let her do this. Why won't you let Connie do this for you? That's enough for today. Hey, Pearl, I didn't mean to mess up your training, but all that you're nothing talk was really freaking me out. Did Rose make you feel like you were nothing? <gasps> Rose made me feel like I was everything. I see now how deeply you care about each other. That will make you both great knights. <laughs> Connie is practically an expert, so Steven, you have a lot of catching up to do. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for the midair and underwater dueling exercises. It's going to be boodles of fun.
And that hero would have to be me. Whoa. Okay, everything's ready for our full-on nighttime stealth coverage. Is it really okay for us to be lurking around here like this? We're not lurking, we're investigating! This is a moment of true bravery! Are you brave like me? I'm so brave to be doing this. Come on! Stay back, uh, little bro! Race it back to the danger zone. Wait up! Uh, Steven! Uh, hey, Ronaldo. Uh, hey, PD. You guys should be careful. Cut the pleasantries! <laughs> You're all a danger to our city! What are you talking about? Pearl, now! Oh, my gosh. What the heck is that? Oh, Pearl, now! Ha! Aim for the eye! Aye, aye, Garnet. Where's Amethyst? Right here! Let's finish the job. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about, Steven! But the Crystal Gems are here to help people! But all the monsters just come here to get you guys! And then wreck things and put us in danger! Beach City would be way safer if you guys weren't here! Listen, Frybo. Magic beings are indeed drawn to us, but we were here long before Beach City even existed. Who cares how long you've been here? Innocent people are in danger as long as you're hanging around! You're right. I guess we'll just leave then. Excuse me? Really? But, Garnet! Put your butts away, Stephen. We're not wanted here, so let's just leave. But, Garnet, we'll have to move all the bubbles. A and what about Stephen's things? Man, uh, I kind of liked it here. Uh, mission accomplished! Uh, you can turn the camera off. Ah, that's right. I did it. Thanks to me, the gems are gone forever. Hmm, that's too bad. Now you won't have anything to blog about anymore. Come on, dude, I'm trying to finish the movie. Well, this relates to your movie. You said it yourself. The gems cause all the weird stuff in Beach City. So now that they're gone, there'll be no more weird stuff. No. No! What have I done? What had I done? I done bad. I made a terrible mistake. This, <laughs> this is... This is a matter of weird and death! I'm going! <laughs> As fast as I can! <laughs> Crystal Gems! You have to stay! Every messed up consequence of your presence gives me reason to wake up in the morning! Without you, my block doesn't stand a chance! I'm too late, what have I done? I've made Beach City normal! <laughs> I've broken my promise to the city! <laughs> and to myself! <laughs> oh! Oh! You're still here! Please don't leave! I was wrong! Stay and keep this town weird! I had no idea how this crystal gem would respond to my plea. The answer will shock you! Okay. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> I had skillfully negotiated for the gems to stay. Perhaps I have a future in intergalactic diplomacy? <laughs> in the end, I suppose the gems really do save Beach City from being not weird. Okay, Petey, I think that about wraps it up. Good job with the camera, bro. Oh, thanks. That was very poorly edited. Were we really gonna leave Beach City? No, I just wanted him to get that camera out of my face. I wonder how many people have seen this thing. Oh, <laughs> I think we're the only ones. See? Hmm. Click. <sighs> Garnet? What was that? This is wrong. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 no, no, Garnet! 
You're coming undone! Guard it! Guard it! Guard it! Please, what's the matter? This isn't like you! So this is what Homeworld thinks of Fusion. We couldn't have known they would do this. This is where they've been. All the ones we couldn't find. They've been here the whole time. Rose couldn't have known. This was punishment for the rebellion. It's not our fault. Garnet! S Steven. Yo, we're back. <sighs> Garnet, we lost Peridot. Her fingers were too fast for us. Um, what are these things? Put them down! What? We need to poof and bubble all of them. We can't let any escape. Oh, hey, Garnet. How's it going? Still damp. Oh, right, the clothes. There are towels in there. Do we even have plumbing up here? How do you get the washer and dryer to work? Magic. <laughs> Are you all right? I wish you hadn't seen that. Oh, it's okay. It's not okay. Why? What Homeworld did. Taking the shattered parts of fallen gems and combining them. Those gems weren't asked permission. Fusion is a choice. Those gems weren't given a choice. It isn't right. It isn't fusion. What's it like, being a fusion? You fused. I mean, like, all the time. Do you forget who you used to be? You forget you were ever alone. You know, when you fuse, you don't feel like two people. You feel like one being. And your old names might as well be names for your left arm and your right. When you split up, is it like you disappear? I embody my, I mean, Ruby and Sapphire's love. I'll always exist in them even if I split apart. But the strength of that love keeps me together, so I can stay garnet for a very long time. That's why you're so great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't want to break up a pair. Yeah, you're right. They belong together. Give us some privacy. <laughs> yeah! Let me tell you something, Mr. Universe. I think you can do it. But it won't work if you dance like Pearl. You have to dance like you. You have to fuse your way. Get open, get honest. Invent yourselves together. That's fusion. I think I get it. <laughs> What's all this? We didn't fuse. What? <laughs> you can't fuse. You're a human. <laughs> I know. That's the problem. I'm just a human. That's not a problem. I love humans. You're all so funny. <sighs> Look, these last few months have been great. Oh, yes. But I'm getting a little worried about the future. Oh, just ask Garnet. I'm starting to wonder if you respect me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're hilarious, Mr. Universe. <laughs> Rose, please. Can you just talk to me for one second like a real person? I'm not a real person. I thought, haven't we... Is this not how it works? Oh. 
Oh boy, this is so weird. You really are an alien. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you crying? How are we gonna make this work? Fusion? No, us! We're really, really different. What do we do now? Let's just talk. I barely know you. That's a good thing. We really rushed into this. Everything on Earth seems fast to me. Do you miss your home planet? No, never. How'd you end up with uh, Harpo, Groucho, and Chico? Huh. Oh, them? Those are three long stories. What are they doing? Shh. Have you loved other humans? Have you? Yes. Yes. Well, have you ever been in love with a human? How would I know? It's torture. I'm so sorry. Huh? No, don't be. What? Why not? Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Me too. Well, this is good. We've got one thing in common. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh! Why are they still dancing? It, it didn't work. Yes, it did. What? It worked. I think this one's my favorite. I think he's her favorite, too. Whoa. So you guys were never able to fuse? Ah, uh, no. But that wasn't as important as talking to each other. Look. Humans and gems, it's still some pretty new territory. You're gonna have to work it out together. And Connie, if you ever need to talk to another human being about this, you can always talk to me. Mm. Human beings? Human beings. Human beings. Steven, please, I... <laughs> <laughs> Lapis. <laughs> Amethyst? <laughs> Hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Rose, this is wonderful. I'm just having so much fun spending time with you, Rose. Forget about Greg. Let's go travel the galaxy. Pearl, thank you so much for fixing my van. Oh! <laughs> Pearl, I... Yes, Stephen? I had another dream about Lapis. Oh, that's okay. Dreams aren't real. They're just mixed up movies. But I, I think I was talking to her. Wait, how do you know? I don't, but I could just feel it. She was yelling and she was really freaked out. What did she say? Is she still in control? I, I don't know. Stephen, you could be using your dreams to connect with her mentally. Can you do it again? Maybe Lapis can just tell you where they are. I guess I have to go back to sleep. Quick, Pearl, tell me about your dream so I can fall asleep. My dream? Come on, Pearl. It's for the greater good. <laughs> if I must. So, in my dream, I was, what? <laughs> wow, he been sleep. Oh, I know this is a dream now. So I can imagine anything I want. A uh, mashed potato. Hmm. Now how do I find Lapis? Not Lapis. Not Lapis. Not Lapis. Uh, lion? Wait. You're not Lion. Whoa! Uh! Ow. What is this place? Uh, Lapis! Steven! Why do you keep coming back? I can't get distracted. I, I've got to hold us down with the weight of your planet's ocean. I've got to keep her. Wait, Lapis, tell me where you are. We can help you. I told you, no! You. Jasper! You, you, you! Lapis! Can't you see? I can't stop. Not for a second. Don't look for me. I don't want your help. But, but just let me do this for you. Lapis! No! I'm not Lapis anymore. We're Malachite now. Lapis, no! Steve.
Linda, it's okay. We're here. Did you see her? Yeah, she's still fused, and she's still in control, but I don't know for how long, and... This is a weird party. Got it! Steven, you're still awake. Amethyst was on a skateboard, and then Dogcopter meowed at me and was just not interested in what I had to say at all. And I might have some issues I need to work out, but Lapis, she's out there and she's still... Shh, 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 shh. I know you're worried, but there's nothing we can do right now. So let's take it easy. I'll show you how it's done. That's pretty convincing. Garnet? Is there something I can do? Can I make it up to you? Hmm. Peridot's been back here twice. So the odds are good she'll come back again, right? Bam! That's when we'll get her. Yeah, bam! Garnet will be so impressed. And then she'll think I'm cool again. Mm-hmm. Nothing. More nothing. Ah, oh, there she is! No, wait. That's just a weird cactus. I don't think she's coming. Uh, what are you doing? If you make your eyes blurry, it looks like there's a little magic sausage between your fingers. This is stupid. It doesn't even work. Try this. Hey, don't mess with my... Uh... <laughs> well, even if we didn't catch Peridot, at least I taught you a great way to pass the time. <gasps> What? I think I saw something. It's Peridot's escape pod. She fixed it somehow? But I thought we had it. Did she steal it from the temple? Whoa, she, she's lifting the pillar, guys. And she's fixing the hub. What's she doing up there? And hats. Hey, for some reason, Peridot kind of looks like... Pearl? What? Let me see. Oh, no. Why would Pearl rebuild the hub? Maybe she's trying to study how it works? No, I don't think that's it. Maybe she's trying to get us more channels? <gasps> oh, this is no good. What's wrong? It's Peridot. She must have fixed the communication hub again. Darn it. It's the hub again. She's evading my future vision. No matter how many times I try, I can't see us finding Peridot. Come on, team. I can't believe Peridot is giving us so much trouble. But it hardly matters, right, Garnet? We can disable this tower as many times as we need to, together, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready, I know Garnet? what she's doing. You do? Stop! Huh? Is something the matter, Amethyst? You, you shouldn't. Pearl, we saw you. What? You need to tell Garnet it was you. I don't understand. I'm sorry, it's just so much fun being sardonyx with you. That's why I couldn't see us finding Peridot. Wait, let me explain. You've been fixing the hub. It really was Peridot. The, the first time? You tricked me. No, 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 no. No, we just needed a reason to fuse. I just wanted to share a few more victories with you. Those weren't victories. Wait, Garnet. You know, we're so much weaker than you. Fusing with you is like our one chance to feel stronger. Don't defend her. Peridot is out there somewhere, and Pearl's been distracting us with nothing! Garnet. That's enough! Amethyst, fuse with me. But... Let's just get this over with. Please forgive me. Of course I forgive you. Man, it sure would be nice if things worked out the way they do in cartoons. Yeah, it would. Something pretty serious must be going on if it made Garnet split up. But hey, we can still have a good time. Square pizza? What's wrong with this crazy state? Son, there will come a time in your life when you learn to accept all pizza. Why can't Ruby and Sapphire just make up? 
Sometimes people that love each other can hurt each other's feelings without meaning to. We should just give them some space. But I think they'd work it out if they just talked to each other. Everything will be better in the morning. We'll all go to the best diner in the world where they'll eat the best breakfast in the world. You think that'll help? Nothing like a little breakfast to bring people together. You really are my favorite dad. I knew this pizza would put me over the top. Hey, thank you. Thanks. What's the matter, not hungry? Gems don't need to eat, Dad. Uh, mm, Garnet likes to eat sometimes. Ugh! Well, Garnet's not here! Mmm, oh boy. This really is the best diner in the world. You're shaking the table. Oh! Ha! I'm kind of surprised you felt anything at all, to be honest. I didn't need to feel. I saw. Everything is just so crystal clear to you, is it? This will pass. She'll eventually just burn herself out. That's what you think! I am an eternal flame, baby! <gasps> you don't know me. How could I possibly Look not know you? We always feel. Hey, it's okay, pal. We can still save this. Why don't we just bag these up to go and. Ah, oh, jeez. Steven! I was so happy when Garnet said she was going to come on this trip with me and Dad. Home's been awful. Here's been awful. I thought you wanted to have a fun time, but everyone's been acting awful, too. It, it just came with us. I don't understand. Is it... is it me? No. Uh, Steven, it's all us. But we made him feel like it was his fault. I keep looking into the future when all of this has already been solved. As if it doesn't matter how you feel in the present. No wonder you think I don't care. Sapphire. No, 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 no. This is all my fault. I, I didn't want to look for a solution. I, I just wanted to be mad. You're right. You're always right. I was being stupid. I don't think you're stupid. I'm sorry. You honestly think I'm not upset about what happened? I was just trying to do the right thing. I know. <sighs> you know what's nice about being split up? What? I get to look at you. <laughs> Be serious. There's my laughy Saffy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of Stephen. <laughs> 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 well, I paid for breakfast and the damage to the booth. Anywho, I think I'm all vacationed out. Ready to call it a day? Not before we get our free ice. Garnet! We're home! I just don't know why I keep... Oh, uh, you look like you all had fun. Yeah, it all worked out. Garnet, how are you? Not now. She's speaking to me again. Kind of. That really was a great trip. <gasps> Can we go back? Maybe one day, but not to that diner. Oh, boy. Sorry, but we all gotta eat. I can't. Ugh, just take him from me. I'll be over here. Uh, you don't have any more weird pets to show me, do you? You gonna put on a movie? That'd be nice and not creepy at all. Cool hospital setting. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, that's your mom. I'm ready. What's she getting ready for? Oh, Yellowtail, I think. Oh, it's happening. Oh, uh, wait, uh, what's going on? Here he comes. Huh? Happy birthday, Onion. Is this you being uh, born? Can't take much more of this. Where? Okay, I'm out. Can't do this anymore. Need to go home. Amethyst, I'm sorry, but it's time to. Even Garnet. Like, I've never seen Garnet this upset. It's awful at home. I feel trapped. That's crazy. I know what you mean, though. You do? Hey. We don't always get along in this family. Yellowtail and sour cream are always at each other's throats. It makes me nuts. 
Actually, when I get like that, I think about you and how you could always just roll with it. What? No, that was you. You were so cool. I was just like a dumb sponge following you around. But you were down for anything, not afraid of anything. You know how much I wanted to be like you? Ugh, I still think about it. To be honest, that's why I started painting you again. I'm, I'm inspired by you, Amethyst. Oh, looks like I'm gonna need more tea. You wanna eat this bag? Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Good thing the kids are keeping themselves busy. <sighs> okay, Onion, let's do this. Whatever weird or horrible thing you have planned for me, I can take it. Hey, slow down! Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Uh, uh, Onion, where are you? What's this room? What's in there? Something horrible? Onion, it's full of guys. Wow, I've never seen this red variant of ninja guy before. You have gals too? Hard hat gal, triangle gal, orange gal, Karen. Karen, how'd you get a hold of, no, don't tell me, hmm? No way, it's Explorer Gal. She's so cool looking. Thanks for showing her to me. Y you should take your Explorer Gal back. Are you giving this to me? <gasps> I can't believe it. Thank you so much, Onion. Oh man, what other gals and guys you got? <laughs> cool, invisible guy. And stay out. <laughs> um, thanks for dinner. And for listening. Well, thanks for breaking into my house. And don't worry about that other stuff. It's gonna blow over. You're a rock. That's what you are, right? Uh, something like that. Well, whatever you are, don't be a stranger. Yeah, I can stop by any time if you need inspiration. <laughs> or if you want, you could come over to the temple sometime too. You could even bring Onion for Steven to hang with. Oh, well, that sounds great to us. What about you, Steven? You ready for another round with this guy? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Back home, they called me Dewey the Dunce. Said I couldn't find land even if I was standing on it. <laughs> what the? And I'm starting to fear that they were right. What light through yawn stage left breaks? Oh, what now? It is the East, and we are the Crystal Gems. What? This wasn't in the script. This wasn't in the budget either. Greetings. I am Pearl, and I come to you as a messenger of the brilliant Rose Quartz. We ask that you turn your ship around. The land you are headed for is no walk in the park for your species. Nonsense. I won't take orders from the likes of you. Hmm. Well then. You should turn around lest you fall into the sea. And you know, humans aren't very good swimmers. They ain't. I'll just return home like the failure dunce I am. Ah, oh, I can't even turn a sail right. Why must I always struggle? <laughs> wow, Dad, what a loser. Oh, Captain, my Captain, we've drifted miles from our course. These waves are nothing like I've ever seen before. Nonsense. This is only a drizzle. Okay, maybe a light summer storm. <laughs> What's that port side? <clears throat> Lever. Oh. oh. <laughs> Captain, it's got me. First mate, buddy. Whatever you do, don't give up your search. You're the bravest man I know because you try, even though you fail so, so much. Buddy, no! Oh, buddy, a stale biscuit to the end. And now my boat will sink into the depths. Dewey the disastrous dunce. What's this? Holy anchovies, the quadruple noogie, a move that's only been spoken of in legends. Oh, it heads this way. Oh, please, goddess of noogies, don't hurt me. Whoa, I've made it. Land, sweet, solid land. Thank you, giant woman. You may not want to stay. 
This land is dangerous. No, I will stay. For I am William Dewey, and I don't give up in the face of failure. That's what makes me great. Very well, then. But I can't promise you I won't interfere again. I shall name this new land in honor of my dead first mate, Buddy. I'm alive. Okay, Beach City it is. What? Nice to know Great Grandpa was a real person with flaws. Gutsy move, Dad. Mayor Dewey. Mayor. One for you, and one for you. Excuse me, if I could have a moment with the talent. Uh oh. Jamie! Ha ha ho! Yeah! Fantastic work. I love the message. Vote Mayor Dewey. How about I offer you another role? Lead director of Beach City Community Theater. You could put on more plays, as long as the budget allows it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. A lot of the credit should go to Pearl. You could say she was an inside source. I am a gem of many talents. A dedication to fact is just one of them. Thank you for preserving my legacy. Oh, what's 200 years between friends? Well, I must be off then to bask in the adulation of my constituents. You know, I don't remember there being a campaign slogan at the end of that story. Art doesn't always need a reason, Pearl. Sometimes it's just gotta make the audience happy. That's why you always end on a joke. I wanted to prove to you that, that everything could go back to normal. Catching Peridot won't make things go back to normal. This isn't about Peridot. Hey, they're actually talking. Now they can finally work things out. Not if they get crushed. <laughs> Please, tell me. How can I make you forgive me? You can't. You lied to me. You need to learn that there are consequences to your actions. I'm sorry. I... I couldn't help myself. I don't want to hear your excuses. But it's true. No matter how hard I try to be strong like you, I'm just a pearl. I'm useless on my own. I need someone to tell me what to do. When we fuse, I can feel what it's like to be you, confident and secure and complete. You're perfect. You're the perfect relationship. You're always together. I just, I wanted to be a part of that. You're wrong. I'm not as strong as you think. I, I fell apart over this. Ruby and Sapphire were in turmoil over how you deceived me. I came undone. Whoa, that really happened? Hmm. It's not easy being in control. I have weaknesses too but I choose not to let them consume me. I struggle to stay strong because I know the impact I have on everyone. Please understand, Pearl. You have an impact too. There are times when I look up to you for strength. You are your own gem. You control your destiny. Not me, not Rose, not Stephen. But you must choose to be strong so we can move forward, so I can trust you again. I understand. I can't give up anymore. Good. Pearl, there's only one way out of this. Only if you're okay with it. Mm. Ah! What, do what, do? Do? What, what do we do? do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let me hear. I don't know what anything is. Blast this old gem tech. Where'd they go? Why isn't anything working? Surrender, Peridot. You have nowhere to run. The crystal gems are gonna get you. You really think this is the end? <laughs> this, this is only the beginning of my escape. <laughs> well, I'd love to stick around and watch another one of your pathetic attempts to capture me, but I guess I'm just too smart for the likes of you lumpy, clumpy clods. <laughs> what the? I caught a paradox. Hey, get your touch stuffs off me, you Steven. <laughs> hey! Yes, yeah, Steven, don't let her go. Let go of me! 
You, you, the sister, little, whatever exactly you are. Paradox, your flight's been canceled. No. You'll pay for this, Crystal Gems. I'll get you back. Just you wait. Pearl? It's okay, Stephen. Next time, we'll get the rest of her. Right, Garnet? It's a good step forward. <laughs> Foot joke! <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally. No, I never go back on a rule, young lady. There have to be some exceptions. I'm not some rule-driven robot. <laughs> <laughs> are beyond reason. Mom, if you would just go back on your rule this one time. <laughs> I just need to help Steven to get us out of here. Mother knows best. <laughs> Steven, come on. No, 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 no. I know my daughter. I know what she's doing every second of the day. All her activities, all her internets. I know she's definitely not some sword fighting hooligan. You don't know me at all. You still haven't even noticed my glasses. What's wrong with your glasses? They don't have lenses anymore. I haven't needed actual glasses for almost a year. What, your eyesight just magically got better? Yes! I've been dealing with magic and monsters and things like these since I met Steven. That's why I need you to believe I know what to do here. But you... Ugh, there's no time for this. Ready? Drop the bubble. That's why it had no pulse. Gem experiments. This is what you've been doing? Training to fight these things? Ah! Sorry, Dr. Maheshwaran. That's my lion. Mom, I'm really sorry about lying to you. It started off as a tiny secret, and then it felt like if I didn't hide it, you wouldn't let me see Steven ever again. Is that how you feel? Are we too controlling? Maybe. I just wanted to be a good mother. I, I just wanted to protect you. I can protect myself now. <sighs> okay. We'll pull back on the rules. And I'll try to keep an open mind about this, and that, and him. It scares me that you can't talk to me. I need to know what's happening in your life. I, I need to step in when you're in over your head. You just promise me you'll stop all this lying? That's a rule. I love you, honey. I love you too, Mom. Awesome! Oh, my Sadie, such a big star! Never even went to the prom, and look at you now! Am I on yet? Sadie Miller? You're the mystery guest? I never even would have recognized you! Oh, hi, Mr. Smiley. Uh, um, how, uh, how are you? I'm fine. 
but it looks like someone here has a case of the showbiz shakes. You know what an old friend of mine told me once? A little smile never hurt anybody. Mm. Mm. Oh, looking good. Thank you. <gasps> <sighs> More sparkles! Yes, sir! Next up, ladies and gentlemen, your mailman and mime, <laughs> Jamie! Oh, it's a box. He's, he's, he's doing a box. Uh-oh, no more glitter. I'll have to run and get the emergency supply from the car. Guard my girl, Stephen. <gasps> Sadie, come back here! I can't wait for this mystery act. You think it's a juggler? Maybe they'll juggle something sharp. I'm gonna have my phone ready in case someone gets hurt. <gasps> Shady! Uh, I, I can't breathe! <sighs> okay, okay, if you're not gonna come back and let me work on you, then let's work on the routine. Okay, just let me. Oh no! You ruined my lipstick! Never fear, Steven's here. Sadie, why did you do that? Because you're just as bad as my mom! What? Please, Mom, don't make me do this. Make you? You said you wanted to sing. Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. Just like I say lots of things, like, hey, Mom, swimming looks fun, then bam, suddenly I'm anchoring a 400-meter relay for the Beach City Seals. Hey, Mom, I thought signing up for softball would be nice. Six birthdays later, I'm still getting nothing but knee pads and batting helmets. Hey, Mom, I want to sing in this year's beach of palooza and what do I get? This! I just thought, for once, I'd get to do things my way, but you came in and took over everything like you always do. I just wanted everyone to know how talented my daughter is. This is not your daughter. I'm sorry. I... Next up, the one you've all been waiting for, the one, the only, mystery guest. Ah, how did I let this happen? I don't want to do this. You never did. It was always me. Give it up for... Looks like you called it, Ganga. That mystery guest bit had Steven written all over it. I can't help it if I make a scene. Stepping out of my hot pink limousine. I'm turning heads and I'm stopping traffic. When I pose, they scream, and when I joke, they laugh. I've got a pair of eyes that they're getting lost in. They're hypnotized by my way of walking. I've got them dazzled like a stage magician. When I point, they look, and when I talk, they listen well. Everybody needs a friend, and I've got you, and you, and you. So many, I can't even name them. Can you blame me? I'm too famous. Haven't you noticed I'm a star? I'm coming into view as the world is turning. Haven't you noticed I made it this far? Now everyone can see me burning. Now everyone can see me burning. Now everyone can see me burning. Yes? What's your shirt? These are my banana pajamas. Ow! Wait, don't run away! <laughs> Stop! They're gonna see you! Freedom is mine! Wait! Look! Over there! Another planet to betray! Retreat! <laughs> oh, no, you don't! Hey. Ah! Ah! Get her! You may have won the war, but the battle isn't over, Crystal Claude! <laughs> Should we tell her that's the bathroom? Eh. Hmm. Seems I've discovered some sort of archaic think chamber. Roomy, with a fresh hint of Earth citrus. A perfect crossroads for my escape. It's locked. Hurry up, open the door! Uh, if you're trying to flush yourself down the toilet, it won't work. Trust me, I've tried. How did she get out? We bubbled her. Maybe we needed a bigger bubble. My bubbles are fine. I did it. Steven, <gasps> why would you do such a thing? Because she knows something, something that's made her scared. 
Duh. Homegirl knows we're gonna beat her into a green pancake. No, not because of us. Because of something called the cluster. Cluster? That's new. What else did she tell you? That's all I got. That's right, you dirt bombs! You don't even know what's coming! Oh, I'm tired of playing these games. If we can't fight her, then fine. We'll talk. Paradox! Oh! All right, no more fighting. Let's just have a civil conversation. As if I negotiate with you, filthy war machine! Okay, let's kick her butt. Wait! Yeah! Destroy me again! And have fun trying to talk to me when I'm in a bubble! <laughs> I really hate to say it, but unfortunately, if she has information, she's more valuable to us like this. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> you have to turn the knob the other way for cold. Wait, so we're just gonna let her live in my bathroom? Well, yes. What other option do we have? Keep her outside on a leash? <laughs> hmm. But I need to use the bathroom. Right now? Yeah, kinda. Just go in the ocean, bro. Like a fish. What's with you guys and making me pee outside? Well, I have fun doing it. Uh, but even if we do get her to come out of the bathroom, oh. she's never going to talk to us. Looks like there's not much else we can do right now. We have her Peridot, can I come in? I need to get ready for the day. No. I have something for you. If it has anything to do with the experiment she was conducting in the field. What a great souvenir of that other time you assaulted me. Oh, right. Sorry. I could take it back. No, it's too late. You wouldn't happen to have the rest? Uh, sorry. We lost them. Well, we kind of threw them away. Can you pass me that? Is this a weapon? Only for cavities. Hmm. Thanks. Is that a weapon? No, that's a comb I never use. Is that a weapon? Hmm? Oh, well, I guess if you get it wet and roll it up. <laughs> Look, I know you're scared, but I'm not going to hurt you. And whatever's going on, whatever the cluster is, I want to help. I doubt you can help me, but I appreciate the offer. Now, do you mind moving? I have to use that. Can I have my hand back now? Okay, but stay where I can see you. It's over. I can't show you anything. Let's go back. Mind if I try? Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Whoa! There you go. All right. With this over here... It's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Ugh, come on. What's up, Dot? I can't quite reach the... It's okay to ask for help, you know. I had it. <clears throat> These are the early attempts at artificial fusion. That's a lot of gem shards. We were growing them here at this very site, but these were just prototypes for the final product. A singular giant artificial fusion, comprised of millions of gem shards. The cluster. Peridot, you're saying there's a giant mutant gem the size of the Earth under us right now? Oh no, when it forms, it'll be much, much bigger than the Earth. Right now, it lies dormant, incubating in the Earth's core. But when it emerges and takes its physical form, it will destroy the planet. The prototypes are already emerging. The cluster is next. If we can't get off this planet, we've got to stop the cluster. I thought it'd be impossible, but now we have a chance. What is it? It's you, Steven. Now that you're filled in, we can get to work. Uh, how am I supposed to help? Well, you have all the information we need about Earth and its erratic behavior. Put that together with my expansive knowledge of the cluster, and we just might be able to stop it. No, Peridot, I don't think you get it. Just because I know how clouds work doesn't mean I know how to stop a giant mutant in the center of the Earth. Besides, the only reason I know anything about clouds and rain is because my dad told me. What are you talking about? I used to be really scared of thunderstorms, just like you. Then dad explained how rain and all that stuff works. Then I wasn't scared of rain anymore. Well, I'm sure you have other knowledge about how this planet works. Sure, but none of it's gonna help us. 
If we want to stop this clustered thing, we'll need help from the Crystal Gems. I said I don't need them! Let's just warp me back to the bathroom or whatever you call it and we'll take care of this. If it looks really bad, then we can just ask this dad for help, right? Yipe! What was that? Oh no, gem mutants! Do something! I am doing something! Something useful! Uh, let's run! Over here! No, the other way! No, not there! Ah! Let's run into this corner! Oh no, we're cornered! Ah! What? Ah! Can't you destroy it? No, this is all I can do on my own! this thing in the earth on our own. We need the help of the crystal gems. Steven, are you all right? Move aside, Steven. Peridot, what are you two doing here? Steven, I thought I told you to keep an eye on her. I know, but he did what he was told. All right, listen up, you claw. Ugh. Crystal gems. I've made up my mind. I have something to tell you about the cluster. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the final event. You got this, Pete. Get it, girl. <clears throat> Ready, set, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You both get a point on that one. Hmm, hmm. Looks like our final score is a tie. Well, that settles it. You both get to lead the project together. No, this isn't over. I demand we have a tiebreaker. Oh, let's just give it a rest. That's it, we tied. We're the same, let's move on. No, you're a pearl. You are beneath me. I'll always be better than you and nothing I've seen today will ever change that. Well, have you ever seen a pearl do this? <sighs> so, you want to fight? Good, we should have done this from the beginning. <laughs> Fight! 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 <laughs> Pearl! It's all right, guys. I got this. Be careful. Kick her in the butt. <laughs> this is pointless. There's no way you're gonna beat me. Um, you're an accessory. Somebody's shiny toy. Where'd you get off acting like your own gem? Uh, you're just a pearl. That's right! I am a pearl! <clears throat> wow! What you're saying may be true, but it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna kick your butt! Uh-oh. Now I'm the one in charge. Praise me! Praise me! Pearl, are you okay? Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, P. Oh, that was awesome! You were hardcore! <clears throat> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Hey, why aren't you listening to me? I won! I'm the natural leader here. She's just a common Pearl! You're wrong. If Pearls are really like you say they are, then Pearl isn't common at all. She trained herself to fight. She learned how to build things, and she works hard every day to be greater than she already is. That's not common. That's amazing. Come on, let's clean up this mess. Pearl, <laughs> you should come wrestling with me. Uh, I don't know. But, but I won! What about the rules? Welcome to Earth. I 
have to admit, it's remarkable that a pearl such as yourself could become such a um, knowledgeable technician. Mm. Why don't we get started? You're holding it upside down. Yes, <laughs> of course. You know, those round appendages on your machine could be useful for something. They're called wheels. <sighs> Looks like we're well on our way to stopping the cluster. You think you can stop me? Ah! <laughs> oh, we're doomed! Actually, it's mostly carbonite. Would that make it carbony? <laughs> oh, amethyst! Check out this. Hmm. Rhythmatic pulverizer. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. I'm so funny. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That was the incorrect response. Hey, Amethyst isn't laughing when I do these things. Why isn't she laughing? Peridot, you really hurt her feelings. What? You were pretty mean to her at the kindergarten. Mean? No way. I was being... Cool. Amethyst loved it. She's probably telling the Pearl how much fun she had now. Amethyst, I, I, I Amethyst. She, she won't even look at me. It's making me feel smaller. You feel bad. That's how you made her feel. <sighs> Who cares about how she feels? Who cares about any of you? You're all just rocks. Money clumps beneath my gravity connector. <sighs> <sighs> Another one of her temper tantrums. I'm surprised you two made it back from the kindergarten without driving each other crazy. Yeah. <sighs> this little thing. <sighs> How's everything going up there? I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Everything's fine. Uh, no, 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 stop! Paradox? It's okay, I got it! What the? Uh, amethyst! <laughs> it's okay, everything's okay! It was just a drill! <laughs> Uh, Peridot? Yeah! It was an accident. I swear! Hey, don't worry about it. We know you didn't mean to start the drill. Uh, yeah. And that was an accident, too. We leave for one second and everything goes off the rails! I blame the cows. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll rebuild it. Stronger. Better. We'll add seatbelts! <sighs> Hey, are you all right? That was a close one. It's a good thing Peridot was there to save you. Yes, it is a good thing. Listen, I, um... Just spit it out. Gah. Why are you Earth ones so difficult? Log date 7112. This entire planet is backwards. There hasn't been one instance of correct behavior exhibited by any one of these crystal gems. I have concluded that they are all defective. But I am no better. I failed my mission and now I'm working with the enemy. And I can't even get that right. I have apparently hurt Amethyst's feelings, which was not my intent. If I've damaged my standing with the best gem here, then I've made a serious mistake. I'm still learning. I hope you understand. I want to understand. I'm sorry. Paradox. Facet 5, end log. As you could see. Oh, Peridot. He, uh, Peridot. Thanks. But you're still a nerd. I'll be sure to add that to my notes. How do you feel? Big. I've seen gems fuse before, 
But I had no idea that's what it felt like. I always thought, I never realized that fusion, that you'd disappear like that. It's never like that. Whenever I fuse, it's always just been me, but bigger. I, I've never had a third eye before. I've never had more than one. It was nice. <laughs> yeah. Where did we go? What did we do? I think we made something entirely new. And it wasn't quite me, and it wasn't quite you. I think it was someone entirely new. Oh, um, well, I just can't stop thinking. So, um, did you say I was different? not when would i have ever i'm so sorry no no don't be and now you're here forever what about you what about me well you're here too we're here together I was back. I was someone and I didn't know who. But I felt like I was getting the hang of my strange new form. And then I fell. Ah! 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 Oh! Ouch. Ah! Don't hurt her! Don't hurt me? It's you, the fusion. We didn't mean to fuse. Well, well we did this time. We'll unfuse. We, we'll... We'll... No, no, please. I'm glad to see you again. And there they were. Rose Quartz, the leader of the rebellion, and her terrifying renegade pearl. I don't upset you? Who cares about how I feel? How you feel is bound to be much more interesting. How I feel? I, I feel lost and scared and, and happy. Why am I so sure... That I'd rather be this than everything I was supposed to be. And that I'd rather do this than everything I was supposed to do. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. C can you tell me, how was Ruby able to alter fate? Why was Sapphire willing to give up everything? What am I? No more questions. Don't ever question this. You already are the answer. So? What was it? The answer. Love. Wow. I knew it. So did I. When Connie grows up and becomes president, what is that going to make me? First boy? Steven, you can't just keep stretching forever. If you hold it too long, you could really hurt yourself. Yeah, well, I'm half human, so maybe it works different for me. We'll just have to wait and see, right? Oh, Steven. That one's Canis Helicopterus. Helicopterus? Yeah, dog copter. Get it? Now you make one up. Mm, okay, um, <clears throat> that one's a uh, snake constellation. That's pretty good. Are you okay? It looks like you're gonna throw up. Oh yeah, everything's fine. Okay, that's good. You know, to be honest, I was a little worried before. This might sound silly, but I'm really glad that I'm going to get to grow up with you. Steven? Steven? What's going on? What happened? What? He turned back into a baby? Yes! Dude, I told you. 
Stretching your body out for that long is not good for you. <laughs> Here you go, girl. Oh, no, no, don't give them to me. Hand them over, Amethyst. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> that power means nothing to an infant. Okay, this is my department. What are you gonna do? Don't worry, I got this. Can the gems not know what to do? You think they knew the first thing about raising a baby? That was all me. But I don't get it. Driving always used to calm them down. But how do I change him back? I don't know. Look, Connie, let me take you home. I I'll call you when this all gets sorted out. Wait, no. I want to stay. Are you sure? Yeah. I just want to be there for Steven. Don't worry, Steven. It doesn't matter to me what age it seems like you are. I want to hang out with you no matter what. Your dad still has to run his car wash and the gems have to do gem stuff, so I'll watch you when they're not around. I can come see you after I'm done training with Pearl, too. Doesn't that sound fun? Look at that. He finally stopped crying. Well, that's a start. <clears throat> What's up, Amethyst? Baby Steven needs changing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, did he get even smaller? Steven's microscopic! He's reverted back to a zygote! Everyone! Steven is! Look, it fits now. You're back to normal! Sorry this was a disaster. I wanted to look older for you. That doesn't matter. I heard what you said in the van. It's really okay if I don't age like a human? Of course it is! I like you just the way you are. Okay. Uh, Steven, you've got something on your cheek. Huh? <gasps> it's a facial hair! Really? Dad! What is it, little man? Look at this! Holy smokes! You're growing a beard! You really are getting older! Everybody, look at this! Unbelievable. Very impressive. Is there more where that came from? <laughs> 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 they must really like stairs. Hey, what's this room? It's not what we came for. Can we hurry it up? This place gives me the creeps. We really are on the moon. Oh my goodness! This looks like it could be brand new! I mean, it's a relic by today's standards, but golly, it's so elegant, so simple, so perfect! So how do you turn it on? I have no idea. <gasps> hey, it's got one of those glowy hand dealies. You can't sit there! Why not? It's really cool. That chair is only for the most elite gems. You can't go around sitting where an elite would sit. Well, they aren't here now, right? <laughs> hey, what's this doodad for? Put that back. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. There we go. This is a really old system. Gotta find the right file. <laughs> cluster, cluster. Where are you, cluster? Aha! There's the insertion point. Looks like the beta kindergarten in facet 9. It's the smaller of the two, not nearly as impressive as yours, Amethyst. Uh, thanks? But where is the cluster now? Hang on. There it is. It's embedded deep in the mantle. Relative to the barn, it's roughly 2,500 units down. All we need to do is feed this data to the drill, and we should be all set. That's it, then. Mission accomplished. Yeah, team! Great. Let's get the heck out of here. Wait, hold on. Does this thing have any games on it? No, 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 no. This wasn't used for games. Aw. It was used for planning the colony. Here, look. So here's a map of all structures that were originally built on Earth. All told, this probably only accounts for maybe 5% of what was originally planned. What was the plan? Well, let's take a look. <sighs> Ta-da! A finished Earth colony. Wow, look at this! 89 kindergartens, 67 spires, a galaxy warp in each facet, efficient use of all available materials. What were you thinking shutting this operation down? It could have been great! No, you're wrong! What do you mean? It's perfect. Look at it. 
We are looking at it. Yeah, this plan stinks. Completing this colony would have meant the extinction of all life on Earth. But think of the good it would have done. The gems that would have been made, our empire expanded. Rose Quartz believed all life was precious and worth protecting. Well, if she wanted to protect it, she did a lousy job. There'd be no cluster if the Earth had stayed a colony. Now there's no colony and there's gonna be no Earth, so thank you, Rose Quartz. You doom the planet. Oh, is there anything that's worth more than... <laughs> you, listen to me now. You are talking about things that you do not understand. Garnet, stop, please! It's not worth it. We're done here. Let's just go home. <sighs> What'd I say? I'm just stating a fact. The Rebellion didn't really save Earth. It just delayed the inevitable. That's not the way they see it. They've spent thousands of years trying to protect the Earth. I thought maybe you finally understood why. Peridot! What? I'm coming. Let's go, you two. Pearl? Yes, my diamond? Why is there someone on the diamond line? I don't know. I was just about to tell her that... I'll take it from here. <gasps> is that... Yellow... Diamond. My diamond. Peridot reporting in. Which Peridot? F facet 2F5L, cut 5XG. I'm sorry to contact you this way, but all other forms of communication have been destroyed and... This says you're behind schedule on your mission to... How is the Earth? It's full of life. Organic life. And where is the Jasper I assigned you? And why aren't you calling from the ship? Oh, mm, the ship was destroyed. By whom? It, it, it was destroyed by... No one. There was an accident while we were landing. I'll inform your manager of your incompetence. And what is the status of the cluster? The cluster will emerge shortly. Good. We'll finally get some use out of that miserable planet. Thank you for your report, Peridot. There'll be a ship heading to your location to take you to your next assignment. Wait. I, I, I wouldn't have called just to waste your time with a report. You already have. No, I mean, the reason I called. The real reason is, I believe we should terminate the cluster. Why? The organic ecosystem creates resources unique to this world. We can't sacrifice all that potential just for one geo-weapon! I'd like to tell you some plans I came up with to utilize the planet without disrupting the local- I've heard enough! I don't care about potential and resources. What? I want my cluster, and I want that planet to die. Just make that happen. No! Huh? Are you questioning my authority? I'm questioning your objectivity, my diamond. Well... You are out of line. I just think... I'm not interested in the puny thoughts of a peridot. But... You have disrespected this channel and my time with your presence, and you would do well to... But... Shut your mouth! You have failed at every stage of this mission. Your only chance to redeem yourself is to obey this simple order. You are to leave the cluster to grow. It will tear apart the Earth, and I will take immense satisfaction in erasing that hideous rock off of our star maps. Is that clear? I won't do it! I can tell you with certainty that there are things on this planet worth protecting! What do you know about the Earth? Apparently more than you, you clawed! Uh, Peridot, out. Woo! Oh, yeah, that was amazing! I can't believe I just did that. I was so wrong about being so wrong about you. I can't believe I just did that. You thought you could change our mind. Yellow D got torn down by the Peridactyl! <sighs> can one of you take this? Why? Because it can be remotely detonated. Huh? 
How do we stop it? Just get rid of it. Uh, here, Amethyst. What am I supposed to do with it? I thought I could reason with her. Yeah, you really made her mad. And then you insulted her to her face. Do you know what this means? I'm a traitor to my home world. You're a crystal gem! Whether you like it or not. Oh. Oh. Ah. Log date 7132. Progress on the cluster drill is going optimal, surprisingly, though I have a few complaints on the work ethic of. Hey! <laughs> Amethyst, really, this is no time to be fooling around. Aw, oh, come on, P. I'm just trying to lion the mood. Lion the mood. Do you always use shape-shifting like this? You mean to be really cool? Pretty much. But it's such a significant, significant use, use of energy, energy compared, compared, compared to, the, to output. the output. What was that? I've been practicing my Perry phrasing. Pretty impressive in my opinion, but it's hard to beat the original. <laughs> so, can you shift into anything? Sure. Got a request? Brock, brock, I'm a chicken! <laughs> I get the joke now! <laughs> yes, well, at least she isn't lying around anymore. <laughs> Pearl really tries for some reason, and I can appreciate that. Amethyst's company is entertaining as well, but the fused one... eludes me. Okay, we can add more support as we go, but for now, we just have to pick it up and put it on top. No sweat. Let's do this! You've got the right idea, but we might want to be a bit more careful. Gotcha. <clears throat> Shall we? <sighs> that looks great. Let's take a break. What? All right, I'm at my limit. Evening, Peridot. Explain it to me, Fusion. I can at least make sense of your existence if it's for a functional purpose. But you? You're not using your combined size and strength to do anything. I'm doing something. And what's that? Stargazing. Ugh. You can do that alone. Don't want to. Hmm. You can see Homeworld's galaxy from here. You're right. We're very different. I appreciate that. Really? If you really want to understand fusion, I can help you. What do you mean? Let's fuse. Oh, my stars! I get it. You're not ready. That's fair. Another time, then. No! Uh, no, no, no! Just... just give me a sec! Get ready. No, 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 no! I can't do it. That's fine. Peridot, I'm proud of you. Why?! because you made an effort to understand me. But I still don't understand you! Why are you fused all the time? I'm Percy and Pierre. Oh! Okay, go. Log date, <gasps> 7 No, you say it 7 one four, two. Ugh. Log date, 7 one four, two. I have attempted a fusion with the fusion garnet. I had hoped to gain a better understanding of fusion. Instead, I gained a better understanding of Garnet. Wait, keep on a moment. Steven, you probably shouldn't have listened to Peridot's logs, but I know your curiosity comes from a place of caring. You should give the recorder back to her now. She's going to want to keep it. Wait, what? Here, Peridot, take this back. Wow, thanks. <laughs> 